Are you a cross-dresser who loves fashion, but hates spending too much money on clothes? Do you want to look fabulous and feminine without breaking the bank? If so, this video is for you. Cross-dressing is the act of wearing clothes that are typically associated with the opposite gender. People cross-dress for various reasons, such as self-expression, fun, experimentation, or identity. Cross-dressing can be a rewarding and enjoyable experience, but it can also be challenging and expensive. Finding clothes that fit your body, suit your style, and match your budget can be difficult for cross-dressers. You may have to deal with issues such as size conversion, shape adjustment, quality control, and price comparison. You may also have to face stigma, discrimination, or harassment from others who don't understand or accept your choice. But don't worry, there are ways to overcome these obstacles and achieve your fashion goals. In this video, we will share some tips and tricks on how to dress well as a crossdresser without spending a fortune. How to find your style and fit. One of the first steps to dressing well as a crossdresser is to find your style and fit. This means finding clothes that suit your taste, complement your figure, and enhance your femininity. To find your style, you need to explore different options and experiment with different looks. You can get inspiration from magazines, websites, blogs, social media, celebrities, or other crossdressers. You can also take online quizzes or consult stylists or friends who can help you discover your personal style. To find your fit, you need to measure your body and know your size. You can use a tape measure or a size chart to get accurate measurements of your chest, waist, hips, inseam, etc. You also need to consider your body shape and choose clothes that flatter it. For example, if you have an apple-shaped body like broad shoulders, large bust, narrow hips, you can wear v-neck tops, wrap dresses, or a-line skirts that draw attention away from your midsection. If you have a pear-shaped body like small bust, wide hips, you can wear fitted tops, empire waist dresses, or flared pants that balance out your proportions. Another thing to consider when finding your fit is how to hide or minimize any masculine features that you don't want to show. For example, if you have a large Adam's apple like the protrusion on the front of the neck, you can wear scarves, chokers, or high collars that cover it up. If you have broad shoulders like the width of the shoulders, you can wear off-shoulder tops, ruffled sleeves, or cardigans that soften them. If you have a flat chest like the size of the breasts, you can wear padded bras, push-up bras, or breast forms that create cleavage. Finally, to find your fit, you need to accessorize and layer your outfits. Accessories such as jewelry, hats, belts, bags, or shoes can add some flair and personality to your look. They can also help you create contrast, harmony, or focal points in your outfit. For example, if you wear a plain black dress, you can spice it up with a colorful necklace, a stylish hat, or a pair of heels. Layering your clothes can also help you create different effects and adjust to different weather conditions. For example, if you wear a blouse and a skirt, you can add a sweater, a jacket, or a coat on top for warmth and style. How to shop smart and save money. Another step to dressing well as a crossdresser is to shop smart and save money. This means finding clothes that are affordable and fashionable without compromising on quality or comfort. To shop smart and save money, you need to use online resources and tools to find deals and discounts. You can use search engines, comparison websites, coupon websites, or apps to find the best prices and offers for the clothes you want. You can also sign up for newsletters, loyalty programs, or rewards cards from your favorite brands or stores that can give you access to exclusive sales, promotions, or freebies. To shop smart and save money, you also need to shop at thrift stores, consignment shops, and clearance sales. These are places where you can find second-hand or discounted clothes that are still in good condition and quality. You can also find unique or vintage pieces that can add some charm and character to your wardrobe. However, when shopping at these places, you need to be careful and inspect the clothes for any defects, stains, or damages before buying them. You also need to try them on or check the size tags to make sure they fit you well. How to make your own clothes and accessories. Another step to dressing well as a crossdresser is to make your own clothes and accessories. This means creating your own pieces that are customized and personalized for your style and fit. To make your own clothes and accessories, you need to alter, customize, or upcycle your existing clothes. This is a way to transform your old or boring clothes into new and exciting ones. You can use scissors, needles, threads, buttons, zippers, patches, lace, ribbons, beads, sequins, or other materials to change the shape, size, color, or design of your clothes. 
For example, you can cut off the sleeves of a shirt, sew on some buttons on a skirt, dye a dress a different color, or add some lace on a blouse. You can also use iron-on transfers, stencils, paints, or markers to add some prints, patterns, or slogans on your clothes. To make your own clothes and accessories, you also need to sew, knit, or crochet your own clothes or accessories. This is a way to create your own pieces from scratch using fabrics, yarns, or other materials. You can use sewing machines, knitting needles, crochet hooks, or other tools to make your own tops, dresses, skirts, pants, scarves, hats, gloves, or other items. You can also use patterns, instructions, videos, or books to guide you through the process. For example, you can sew a simple t-shirt using a pattern and fabric, knit a cozy sweater using yarn and needles, or crochet a cute bag using yarn and hook. How to care for your clothes and make them last longer. The final step to dressing well as a crossdresser is to care for your clothes and make them last longer. This means maintaining your clothes in good condition and quality so that you can wear them for a long time. To care for your clothes and make them last longer, you need to wash, dry, iron, and store your clothes properly. You need to follow the instructions on the care labels of your clothes and use the appropriate methods and products for washing, drying, ironing, and storing them. For example, you need to separate your clothes by color, fabric, and weight before washing them. You also need to use gentle detergents, cold water, and delicate cycles for washing your clothes. You also need to avoid using dryers, bleach, or fabric softeners that can damage or shrink your clothes. You also need to iron your clothes on low heat and with a cloth between the iron and the fabric to prevent burns or marks. You also need to store your clothes in a clean, dry, and cool place and use hangers, drawers, or boxes to organize them. To care for your clothes and make them last longer, you also need to donate, sell, or recycle your clothes if you don't need them anymore. You need to declutter your closet regularly and get rid of any clothes that you don't wear, don't fit, or don't like anymore. You can donate them to charity organizations, shelters, or friends who can use them. You can also sell them online or at garage sales and make some extra cash. You can also recycle them by turning them into rags, stuffing, or compost. In this video, we have shared some tips and tricks on how to dress well as a crossdresser on a budget. By following these tips, you will be able to dress well and feel good as a crossdresser. We hope you found the information helpful. We know that being transgender can be a difficult journey, and we want to do our part to make it a little bit easier. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel. It would mean the world to us. You can also support our work by joining our membership. This will help us continue to create content that is helpful and supportive for the community. Thank you again for watching, and we hope to see you next time.